Hey, welcome back to Wup. This is it. Uh, we are your hosts. I'm Darrell, and I got Lahai, aka Nina with the Nina. You can follow me on Twitter. Hey, that's a fact. Uh, do me a favor. Start by liking our uh, Instagram page. That's where you can find majority of our content. Then uh, breeze your way over to the YouTube page because uh, there's where you can watch the full episodes. I guess. Yes. You can watch the full episodes on the YouTube page, and then. Uh, uh, don't stop there. <laughs> subscribe <laughs> there. How about you subscribe there? Yes. Leave a comment because that helps. Then if you listen to this on the Apple Podcast app, I need you. I need you. Hear me out. Hear me very, very clear. I need you to uh, leave a review and rate. Even if you don't leave a review, just rate because that's going to put our podcast in front of new audiences that we have yet to reach. And that would be uh, that would be so helpful if you guys could do that for your boy. And... Uh, yeah, anything you want to say? No. Um, yo, shout out to all the new views, all Facts, the yeah. new subscribers that we have on YouTube. We just oh, really yeah. appreciate you. Y'all some real boys out there. Not, y'all yeah. some real ones. Real you ones, just, I yeah. Yeah, I can't. Because yeah. it is men or women. I feel like we might have a more... It's both. Oh. Okay. Actually, it's more women than men. Okay. I would assume I that. looked at the demographics. Oh, really? Oh, you know I did. What, real? Oh, I got into it. I need to learn how to do that. Oh, I'll show you. Hey, man, it's more It's more uh, men than women. Okay. I mean, it's more women than men. So. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. I did want to read some of our... Okay, are we getting into this? Because I wanted to read some of the things people said. All right, so let's start with how we're doing. Okay. And then we can get into that. Then we'll get into the topics. Okay. I'm about them now and stuff, and it's stuck like that. Remember hard times when I barely had enough. Now I'm back on track. Touch it to the gang. Got a milli on the brain, and it's up like that. They used to tell me, nah, now I'm kicking in the door when it's just like... So, as I always ask, Lahai, <laughs> how are you feeling mentally, physically, spiritually? Uh, any Lee that you got going on? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I will say last this past week was better than the week before. Okay. Because the week before, I was really, really struggling. Yeah. But, um, you know... It was funny because I came to a realization like a lot of this is in your head and you gotta relax. So <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes. It doesn't. Yeah. I mean that's where yeah. it always ends, but yeah. like it's hard to get to that point. Yeah. yeah. I definitely felt like I was pushing just to get to Friday because I had like I got off early on Friday and I was like I just need to get off of work. Yeah. And just do whatever I want to do. Like I'm just tired of this root we daily routine. Mm. I really have a problem or an issue with like being committed to things like mm. I don't like when something feels like a forced commitment right you got to wake up at this time you got to go do this that's why I don't have my nails done right now I don't like the fact that I have to go every two and a half to three weeks to go get my nails done because it starts to that. feel like a job yeah instead of something you like a relax, that I enjoy like, yeah. yeah you start to feel like I gotta do this yeah now bro. I have to go yeah. get my nails done because they're overgrown and looking crazy and like I've been there yeah yeah with your nails not nah, like <laughs> Most guys go on a haircut haircut schedule. Oh, like yeah. every two weeks, every whatever, whatever. But then it started to be like it started to become a task. Yes. And it's like, dang, I gotta get this. Like I gotta make sure I get this. It almost became like it needs to happen. Yeah, it's like a. It's like yeah. now I gotta. It's like work. Yeah. So I feel you on that. And I don't like that. So you know, I was just like, I'm ready to get out of this routine. I was supposed to get my hair done today. Like after we record, yeah. I canceled it. <laughs> because I'm like, yo, it's just too many things. I don't like having a whole, whole lot of stuff scheduled. I, I feel you. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like anxiety. It's like, yeah. yo, I got to do this. It's then I got to do this. Yeah, I don't like I don't like an action-packed day. Yeah. I need some time in there to be lazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need some time there to take my time. And if we don't get to it today, we just yeah, don't, we get, just to don't get to it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I feel you on that. 100%. So anyway, but yeah. other than that, I had a really great, um, really good time. I'm trying to think. My daughter, so my daughter, she's in all of the things. So then earlier this week, I had to go to another concert. Oh, she got her solo off? Um, no, this was for District Chorus, but she did really well. I have this weird thing where when kids start singing, I get to tearing up real bad. <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, you become a trash <laughs> by the minute, lie. This is wild. <laughs> I will get so I'll start like tearing up. Yeah. Like it's just I'm hiving. Doo -da, doo -da. You in there crying? I'm like, yo, I will. Tears will start. I could cry right now. Somebody's dog died. <laughs> you in there wild? No, it's kids <laughs> singing. It's just something about it's like the innocence that comes through. It's just, it's just 
it hits me right here. But it ain't innocent. That's the crazy part. <laughs> I know, because I heard some stuff about my daughter. I was so mad. I was like, I'm about to <laughs> kill know. her. Like, yo, this girl's mom told me she done walked to the Turkey Hill. Turkey Hill is far. Like from and your house? Yeah, you have to cross this busy, busy street. Oh, gee, baby, out there getting to it. I was, she was like, oh, and the one, one daughter almost got hit by a car. And I'm like, oh, okay. In my head, I'm like, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> Yo, wait till I'm, we get in the see, wait till the we get in the car. You can't do it at like school because they just be like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, schools be like, you, oh, you, yeah, you smacked your daughter. Yeah, you know, you gotta wait till you get in the car, let that out. Yeah, you got, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I fell back. She was like, "Can we talk about this tomorrow? I just got done singing at my concert. No, we're talking about it now because I'm mad <laughs> now." <laughs> <laughs> good way, hey, but it's good she tried to negotiate it. So you gotta let She's know the negotiate. queen of that. Yeah, you gotta negotiate those things. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Anything else? No, I think that was it. All right. Uh myself, man, I'm all right. Oh, good, Ralph. All right. I'm all right. Uh <laughs> that's good. I ain't gonna I ain't, I'm not gonna hold you. Today I feel shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know why. Uh, I feel super shitty today. What's wrong? I have no clue. I, I just feel kind of shitty. Uh <laughs> Which is really weird because it's a three day weekend. Yeah, and like I don't have to work tomorrow, but like I feel like super shitty. Oh, so like I don't know, man. It's one I'm of sorry. those type of things. But oh uh, man, uh, nothing new over here, man. Just, you gotta shake it off. I'm trying to, uh, just working. Yeah, um, trying to get this pot off the ground, man. Yeah, uh, it's really about it, man. You know yeah. what? I think I'm feeling shitty because. All right, man. So. <laughs> I did this TikTok. Okay. And like uh I'm not I'm not like saying my TikToks are the best cuz they're not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's mad people out there that are nice. Okay. But this TikTok I did like I think the verse was phenomenal. Okay. Uh I think the way I came in on it was phenomenal. Right. Um Oh my gosh. And uh this guy just been reposting everybody's but mine. Oh, really? What yeah. do you mean? Like Damn, we gotta get into it. Nah, <laughs> we, let's we get into have it. to get into it. What guy? Who's the guy? Nah, man, good guy. Oh, someone you know. Don't know. Him. Met him through TikTok. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Well, he's your TikTok friend. We're not, we just became TikTok friends. Aww, but man. you know, like they do open verses on TikTok where you can get those off. I'm like addicted to them. I just really enjoy doing them. It's like, uh, it's like exercise. Just okay. Keep the pen moving. Keep your brain moving. Yeah. Your, so like I do them, <laughs> but like I think mine was fire. And he just kind of... Play it. Nah, he just overlooked it. You don't want to... Oh, did he even like it? He did. Okay, so he didn't overlook it. He didn't overlook it. He's probably it. a hater. Nah, he's nah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, man. If he's it was guy. fire and he reposts everybody's... I think he'll repost mine. I just got to give it some time. When'd you I do it? Be, uh, like Thursday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> He's a good guy, it's man. Look. It's Sunday. <laughs> oh, oh, no. You want me to log on? I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll share it. I don't even know how to do that, but I'll do that for you. No, nah, man. Uh, nah, we good, man. Can That's, you share stuff on your, pay, on your I'm TikTok I'm not sure. Page? I'm new to TikTok. <laughs> I feel like you have too many expectations for this guy. Uh, no, nah, man. I just... Uh, I just be... I be in the communities. So I'll be seeing, like, people that do the, uh, do, do the uh, open verses and the challenges and things like that. And I just be like, all right, man, I like that. Like I'm always, I'm always giving love first. Facts. I'm like that too. Yeah. So like I'll be like, oh, that was dope. I like the way you did that. Oh, I like the way you did this. Or, you know, I'm always giving love first. Yeah. And then like that love seems to always get other people promoted in front of me. <laughs> and I'll be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I I don't know. People are haters, yo. You no, would be no. surprised. I think he's just busy. He'll get to it though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh no! Time. It's Sunday. You know, give, it's Lord's Day. Can't yeah, we don't really work on Lord's and it's Day. the yo. It's the holiday. It's the holiday. I've been yeah. checked out kind of because right? I've had so much stuff to do. So I get that because yeah. I was like, oh, I need some time to get online. <laughs> get online. You know what I mean? Engage, interact. The scary part is you're always online. <laughs> Who me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm it, not. You know, I mean, like you're always online even when you're not online. You're online. How? Because, like, you may open your phone and watch videos. You may not engage, but you just may get on to watch something or just click That's something. True. You're always online. That's true. That's You're just true. not online engaging. It's kind of yeah. like back when, like, uh, AIM was a thing and you could put your away message on. I was never really an AIM person. Oh, okay. My sister was. I, I don't know why I missed that. I don't, I don't know why you missed that either. I wasn't really on the internet for all. I was, was I was outside. <laughs> I was outside. And it was fun. 
I was inside being a goddamn rapper. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was fun out there. Um, but yeah, besides that, man, I think I'm. I just I'm just in a shitty mood. But that's all right, man. Uh, as far as uh mm, spiritual goes, uh, I just been chilling, man. Yeah, I've been chilling. I've been chilling. <sighs> Haven't really uh reached out to the big man. Gave him gave him a break. Got a lot going on. He's it's all right. I yeah. st- I took over for you. I prayed a lot this week. I really did. It felt yeah, good. I, I didn't. I didn't even really get into it. But I did get my Bible app. Yeah. Well, I, I already had the Bible app, but uh, I was looking over what plans I want to start. Oh, real? That's so, you know great. So I did that. Uh, you didn't even friend me. We gotta be friends on there. That was I meant to send you a message and be like, yo. <laughs> I'm on the Bible app, like okay. it's popping, you know what I mean? But then you know, like I'll be like thinking I need to do that, and then I'll be like, damn, I forgot. I know. That was so, me. Yeah, I understand. Man. So uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at, man. Good. So, so now we can get into these people now. Let's get into okay. the topic. I mean, let's get into the uh comments that got left. I'm unprepared now. Oh, super prepared. Okay. Uh oh, you're not prepared, but you were saying oh, you're prepared. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, no, here it is. So I just I just wanted to shout people out. I'm not going to say any names, but we got a lot of good feedback. Give me the shout on outs. Our, or give me the names. <laughs> on our quote, or on our um, clips. So there were people that said that it was a really great show. They thought you were hilarious when you were talking about getting a wheelchair. If any of y'all take my wheelchair, yo, don't steal my scheme. (laughs) This is not for sale. Yo, you can get your own little side hustle, but that's mine right there. Rel, I'm dead because... you see the clip of the guy? Oh, no, go ahead. No, I didn't. What clip? Did you send it to I, me? I got to find it. When I find it, you're gonna it's going to blow your mind. I feel like so out the loop. I got to I got to find you the clip. I got to find the clip. I, I, I didn't even save it, but go ahead. But I'm dead because it wasn't until after I rewatched the show that yeah. I heard that you said that you were looking for um, wheelchairs on Amazon. I, they got mad selections. I was crying off of that. When I find a side hustle, straight to Amazon I go. Real, like, would you really do that? What? Would I? <laughs> would I? <laughs> I'm out there. What do you mean? What? Yo, I? that is crazy. I am out there. Park the park the whip a couple blocks down. I'm out there with it. Nina's all on board. She is like, get the baby a comb. I'm there. <laughs> I am there. I was dead. Yo, I'm there. Some uh, come on, man. I'm 100 percent in. Yeah. Oh, was that it? You just... Um, I don't, uh, wait, were you reading names or comments? I was, no, I was just going to read comments, but um, so like somebody said, nah, ordering a scooter, laughing my ass off, that man different. I thought that was funny. People complimented our set, said hey, our man. set was Dylon hot like fire. Yeah, yeah that's word to my mama. <laughs> um, but a lot of people just said it was a really good show. Cool. Um, and that was it. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much and just definitely keep... Um, engage with us because we'll yeah. engage with you. I appreciate it, man. Uh, again, if you're listening from like the Apple uh, podcast app, leave a review that yes. helps us get in front of audiences that we have not gotten in front of before. Uh, if you're on YouTube, just go ahead and leave a comment because that also helps us get in front of audiences. Man, look, we ain't asking for no money. We just asking for like for the, the love, you know, the love, facts. <laughs> the love. would you do it for the love? Like Fab said. <laughs> The love is all we're asking for. So if you could do that for us, yo, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, of course, once we get somewhere, we'll come back and bust it down with y'all. Facts. Bust it down. What do you mean? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, let's get to the top. I'm this. like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Busting it where? Bust it down. Once we get to where we need to be and, you know, we get some more exposure for our podcast, always come back and bust it down, man. Um, is that like show love to them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Come back and bust it down. Yeah, I, I definitely it down will. with the crew, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Come on, man. Come yeah. On. So we're going to get into the topics. It's a little heavy. Oh, man. At the beginning. So oh, um, definitely yeah. throwing prayers up for the families of um, the victims ah. in the Texas shooting. Come on, man. Man, it was crazy because I kind of avoided this. Like, yeah. I, you know, I kept my eye on it a little bit, but mm-hmm. I really was trying to avoid it because something about someone going into a school and killing kids... It's just like it's almost too much mm. for me. It's like it would be too, it would have been too much for me mentally, especially coming off of such like a a hard week the week before. Boy, uh, I scroll I scrolled upon this by an accident. Um, it was a live feed from like some news station, mm-hmm. and then like I turned it off quickly because I was like ah, I can't do it right now. Yeah, but uh, normally these would hit like they still would hit hard. 
before I was a dad, it was still hit hard. But like now, being a dad, this thing like hits. Like big facts. Like I'm, I'm like terrified to even think. Like, yo, what does the future look like? Um, and just yo, we gotta, we gotta figure out a solution here. Big facts. Honestly, man. Uh, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say because, like, yo. My heart is heavy for the parents. My heart Facts. is heavy for not only the parents, the uh, the the uh, there was teachers that was lost in there. Yeah, like my heart is heavy for those people. Like that's that's a hard that's that's a hard bridge to cross. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, especially when that's something you weren't even prepared for. Like you weren't, right. you would have never thought today. Like, I know there would have you never. Not at all, and that's the type of stuff I think about. And when I had my daughter, like. I really, I really feel like I got like my anxiety, anxiety, excuse me, went to another level because I was so sick with her and then she was sick and her being in the NICU. And then like when she was growing, I used to be like, she's so small and like mm-hmm. frail and fragile. Like I have to make sure that you live to see the next day every day. And I know that's from y'all, but my thing is still like. I still have to take care of you enough so yeah. that you see tomorrow. And I really, sometimes I used to feel bad because I'm like, I feel like some, sometimes I rushed her through her childhood because I, it just made me afraid that mm-hmm. anything could happen to you and I might not be there. I can't protect you or, you know, it'll be something that's out of my control that I can't control. And I'm such like a crazy control yeah, person. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of what I was thinking too. Like, man, like I'm sending my daughter to school hoping she's going to be okay. And then, Something happened. Well, the thing is, like you know, you send your kids to these 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 places, these institutions, and you you never expect like you always expect them to be safe. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, schools are supposed to be one of the safest places, right? You know, um, but like just just to like yo, I can't even imagine receiving that phone call Boy. or just hearing that hearing that um, hearing that come over the news stations. Like, yo, I'm gone. Wherever I'm at, wherever I'm doing, I'm dropping, I'm going. I'm, yeah. going, so I'm out there. I got to go see about my child. You yeah. feel me? Um, I just came, man, look, man. Oh, jeez, man. It's tough. I was literally just talking to, uh, me and Nina were talking about this on the way home last night. Yeah. It was just like, yo, I don't know, I don't, I don't have the answer right. of what to do to make this not happen again. Right. But it's happened too many times for us to just sit around and say like, hey, we don't need to do anything about it. It's, yeah. you know... Um, you just I don't I don't know if there's a right answer. I don't know if there's a wrong answer. I, I know there's a wrong answer, but I don't know I don't know if there's a right answer. I don't know what to do. I don't I don't I don't have any solutions. Yeah. All I know is like, yo, these these is babies. I know babies that have no clue. Like you know, like all they worried about is when was when was recess? Yeah. Yo, did my crush come to school today? School is gonna be out in two days. So they were Bro. two days away from summer break. Yeah, yo. Mountain Dew, TikTok, and Fortnite all yeah. summertime is the vibe. That's sad. Now, I can't even say that's going to be the vibe. It might be counseling all summer. Facts. You know, because now you just messed up another generation. Yeah. That's got to go on and be like, yo, like, it's... it's. That's the type of stuff that I think of and I hate. Like, whatever that the shooter's issue was, that's one thing. But now you've decided to traumatize a whole, like you said, a whole other generation yeah. um, because of whatever your issues are. Yeah. And I never, li- I never like things like that because I feel like it's selfish. Very selfish. You need to give people a chance to have some type of, I don't know, hope out here. But they'll never forget that in their whole lives. Yo, that'll always be a memory. Like, yo, some, some of those, I, don't, I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. But I can almost guarantee you some of those kids saw dead bodies for the first time. Facts. So yeah. like that's gonna be scarred in the kid's brain. So like yo, like again, all right. So like condolences to the parents that lost their child. Mm-hmm. You know that's that's something you can't get back. But the kid, the uh, parents that were able to take their child home that day, they may not have the same child they had before. Facts. So like yo, a lot of people were a lot. Yo, I don't even know how that school moves forward. I know. I don't know how anybody moves for it, and I don't even know how how we. I, and then that just takes me right back to the Rovers way. I don't even know how we're trying to discuss on topics like that, mm-hmm. and we can't even protect who we have here. I know. Like that's yeah, wow. That's deep. Like yo, that just lets me know that you you know y'all y'all straying away from topics that need to be touched on, and nobody's touching on them. Right. You feel me? Uh, They're this picking happened, and choosing. Yeah, and 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 the um. Uh, the Buffalo shooting was only two... I think that was like two weeks ago. Yeah. 
within the last two weeks. So if that doesn't tell, if that's not telling the people like we got to do something, yeah, then I, I don't know what else we need to happen. Are we just going to sit back and let it happen again? It's going to happen again. Right. If, we, if we don't take the steps to correct it, it's going to be happening again. Well, I read somewhere this is the 30th school shooting this year. This year, bro. Yeah, and then, and so like, yo, what are we what are we doing? Right. As as the people as us as the people we do with the yo, vote for this person mm-hmm. because this person is going to make sure we get this done. We give y'all y'all we give y'all our votes. Right. And y'all don't do anything. Yeah. So like for me, yo, don't like for me Stop pandering to me when y'all need me. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, facts. Like, I'm over that. Like, I don't, don't come to me, yo. But, like, this whole, when we were running, when Joe Biden was running, like, yo, there was, there was a, somebody that was in the presidential running was singing Juvenile. Back that ass up. <laughs> really? You didn't see that clip? Oh, wait. I, yeah, I remember, vaguely yeah, remember yo, that. Yo, stop pandering in my field. Yeah. Because you want my vote. Yeah. Bro, no, you're not getting it. Yeah. You're not getting it. I'm not giving it to you. Right. And after seeing this coonery, I'm definitely not giving it to yeah. you. Yo, I'm just saying, I don't know the right person we need to call on, but as, as everybody that has like a heart uh, that just understands how, 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 uh, I don't even know, the, uh, just understands how important life is right. and how important it is for our, our children to grow up and see life. Yeah. Uh, it has to do something. Yeah, and I agree. yo, you every a, a lot of people have kids out here, bro. Yeah, yo, we have to do something to make sure that our kids are protected. Right. That's that's Facts. by any means necessary. Yeah. You feel me? Because nobody, nobody should have to receive that call. Nobody should have to hear that news. Like nobody. Like I'm not again. I'm I'm not. I don't. I don't think people should commit suicide. But bro, if you was going to do what you had to do, you should have did that on your own time. Yeah. I'm like I'm sorry. Yeah. Like. You don't take, like, yo, you're taking innocent children, bro. Like, mm-hmm. that had nothing to do with nothing. And I'm like, why did you choose to go to a school? He Come was, on, what, 18 years old? That doesn't make sense to me either. You went to an elementary school. Yeah, he was. He went to the high school. He was a, He was still a high school student at the time. And that's what I'm saying. Why would you go to the elementary schools? A school oh, that man. you're not even associated with in any way. Like, what was the thought process? I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, we'll probably never get the answers on that. Unless there's... The writing's in a book somewhere. But, like, yeah. bro, we got to do something. I'm not... Yeah. To, now we we got to make a change. Now is not the time to discuss... Uh, maybe later we'll think... No, now's the time, bro. Like, now's the time. Mm-hmm. Like, that's wow. It is. So I wanted to... Um, <laughs> and this is a little controversial. That jacked me up, man. Yeah, it that, was I tough. won't even lie. Like, that, that seriously jacked me up. No, I agree. It was tough. That's why I said I kind of stayed away from it as long as I could, but yeah. I knew we were going to talk about it on the show. So I was like, let me do some research. Let me read a little bit, get a little bit more information. And you know, the crazy part is, like, yesterday there was, like, a lot of little kids running around. Mm-hmm. And all I could think is, like, yo... <laughs> Look at these kids, bro. Like, yeah. they don't have a clue. Yeah. Like, they just enjoying the sun. They're by the water. Yeah. Music is playing. They bobbing. Like, they not a worry in the world. Yeah. And, like, somebody can just come in easily, like... like Destroy that. Yeah. Like, yo. That's it's crazy. Wild. Like, that is wild to me. It is. Wow. Well, I want to read something because a woman, yeah. um, her... Her name online was Code of Vets. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be the Amanda Sills clip, but I want to read um, what the woman has said to make Amanda react like this. Gotcha. <clears throat> so her comment was, pray for the victims, families, and community. The killer was Salvador Ramos, or Ramos, 18 years old. Did he cross the border border illegally? Our nation has a serious national security crisis evolving. God help us. Now, let me put this into a little bit more context. Okay. Where this was in Texas is very close. Um, it's like 20 miles outside of, I think they said San Antonio. Okay. So it's close to the Mexican border. So now this woman, uh, instead of, like she said, pray for the victims, the families, and community. But instead of just focusing that on that, it goes straight to the border issue, straight to if this person is illegal or not. Or not. Instead of the, si- the situation that we have. Yeah, yeah, instead of gun control laws and things like that. So Amanda Sills has a reaction to this woman's comment. I can go ahead and play that. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Do you understand how sick you have to be Mm. to in this moment go to there Mm. and not to 
Why are guns so available to anyone? Facts. We are immersed in sickness, like legit, in sick people mm. who are deranged. For real. I, 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 I'm, I can't, I'm, I, These people are the national security crisis. The people who allow guns to be available to anyone. The people who support and perpetuate white supremacy. The people who allow police brutality to continue to just keep going and going and going. They are the national security issue. Disgusting. Mm. I knew they was gonna come with this. Hey. Yeah. I feel it. <clears throat> I Me feel too. It. Uh, yeah, you focusing on the wrong, the wrong, the wrong, wrong thing, right? Yeah. Now. That ain't. We can get to that later. That don't even that don't even add up. It doesn't right even matter. <laughs> That's far from the problem. And I think that I'm like, how do you fix your mind to even think like that? Like I, that's how people's minds work, which is why they don't care about half of anything. Who Any, was who? Who was? It was you just know? a woman. It was just a random woman. Like I said, okay. her name. I don't know if she was part of like a. Uh, uh, a news team or anything like that? I don't know. She did have a blue check by her name. Let me see if I can just find her really quick on something. Okay. Yeah, because, like, <laughs> statements like that, bro, like, come on, man. People just lost ch children. 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 And not only that, but, you know, we lost children and we lost teachers, bro. And right now you're telling, you're telling me about a guy crossing the border to do damage? Exactly. Bro. Okay. Like, the damage, in is, the damage is, is, is happening here. Like, right. yo, we're the one that's causing the damage right now. Not people. Come on, man. Yo, that's wild. Yeah, I did find her online, but <clears throat> I thought she had a blue check mark, but she doesn't. But she has, like, 4,000 followers, and she looks like she really, like, touches on, like, uncomfortable topics and has well, a totally different viewpoint. Yeah, we got to figure. She should figure out. That come on, man. All right, come on. She's trying to bring the demon out your boy. Yeah. That's wild. Done. That's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that as mad disrespect. In my, in my, to me, hearing that come out of her mouth, I'm gonna take that as mad disrespect. That's yeah. disrespectful for you to even think like that. It's disrespectful for you to even say during a time like this. If you can't figure out anything to say, that's like pertaining to this topic, mm -hmm. this this situation that just happened. All you gotta say is, you know, I send my thoughts and my prayers, my <laughs> condolences. That's it. Right. Don't say nothing else, bro. Like, cause nothing else matters right now. Yeah. You know, if we're not talking about gun laws, about the situation that just happened, then nothing else matters, bro. Yeah. That's that's where we at right now. Obviously, that is something that that we need to be keyed in on. Mm -hmm. That's that 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 needs to happen. Yeah, I agree. So, like, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the answers. I don't know. I don't know which way to take. Mm -hmm. But we gotta figure out. We gotta figure out something. Yeah. Like, we can't let this happen again, bro. Like, right. we, we cannot let this happen again. Like, yeah. this can't happen again. I know, but it's sad to say it more than likely will. I know, and that's, and that's, that's like, the biggest thing why I want my kid homeschooled. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't trust that y'all gonna protect my child like I'm gonna protect my child. Facts, there's I no always way. said that. Yeah, there, there's no, that. there's absolutely no way. Yeah. I can't, I can't put, I can't put 100% trust into that. Yeah, and you know, the craziest thing about schools, too, and your kids, they really feel like they can tell you what to do with your kid. All the time. I remember this lady said something to me, and she was like, it was, Gianna was having an issue with, like, absences, but she's sick. And I literally told, she has asthma real bad. Okay. And I told the school when she was younger, I was like, I can't trust it. I just got her out the hospital, and she was in the hospital for days. I can't, I'm not sending her here. I can't trust you're going to do breathing treatments every four hours. That's, That's right. mine. No. And they, and it was a dumb situation. I'm not even going to go all the way into it. But I remember when the, her, there was like a lady in there and she was like, um, she was like the school psychologist or something. Why you're handling this situation? I don't know. And then she's like, well, um, you know, the law says that. Uh, she has to be here. But I was just like, I don't care about the law. I said, I can take my kid out of this school right now and you would never see her again. You can't tell me what to do with mine. That's a fact. And then come to find out all the like uh, uh, absences that I sent Gianna to school, the teacher was just kept him in the room. And never, never turned him in. Never turned him in. Yep. And had I'm like, so what we did? What was the point of this meeting then? You should have hit the teacher up first. I said, somebody go get my my daughter was in second grade. I said, somebody better bring Gianna down here now because I want to know where we all were. those notes is at. <laughs> so you was about to get the daughter. The daughter's about to get it. <laughs> yeah, with some stuff I don't that, yeah. play. See, that happens a lot, bro. I remember that happening when I was in school. Like I would be getting in trouble for shit that I turned in. Yeah, like where did that's not my fault. Yeah, like, yeah, y'all should have figured out. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that happens a lot. And me uh, working in the school. 
for a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I worked in a school for a lot. Yeah. Um, you see a lot of shit like that. Yeah. You see a lot of shit like that. And uh, it'd be like, man, look, <laughs> the stuff the parents don't get to know because they're not here 24 hours of a day. But, hey. hey I man. always said that. There's always something going on in the schools and your All parents don't know. All the time, bro. All the time. Anyway. Hey, man, let's do better. Um, again, let's put some pressure on these lawmakers. Uh, Facts. And uh, let's... let's Let's do what we gotta do. Let's do what we gotta do to make sure that you know we can uh we can guarantee we can guarantee our children can go to school safely. Facts. That's wild. They should at least be able to go to school and get an education and come home. Bro. <laughs> With no problem. <laughs> mm, come on, man. I remember though, I, I read somewhere in a book where they said that children go to school with their biggest, um, the biggest predator, and it's their peers. Facts. I was like, man, that's crazy when you think about it. Facts. But that's their biggest, like, you know, enemy. Yeah. Come on. Which are each other, their peers. Yeah, man. That was one of the things I thought of when I heard about this. Like, yeah, like that's crazy. But. Did you want to move on to the next topic, or you have anything yeah, else to say? Yeah, I just say like I came across this one video on TikTok of a dad that was uh, just looking for his daughter. Mm. Like it was again, <sighs> just looking for his daughter. Had and no she clue. She was a victim. I don't know if she was. Oh, but he was just looking for her. They had the kids spread out in different places, so he had to go place to place to find. But like y'all, I couldn't even imagine. Like, yo, I got to go place to place. No, nobody... Know. I got to go place to place to find where my daughter is right mm-hmm. now. And this is... I, this might have been before they were releasing names. I don't, I don't know. Again, but... Just seeing that video, bro, I a, a tearjerker. Like, I had mm-hmm. to fight back tears. Like, bro, what? Like... Yeah. Phew, That's scary. Mm, yeah. Sad. I can't, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I try to stay away from things like that, man. I because, know. Because, like, as I get older, man, you know, the water works just be happening. It hits you different. Oh, and when you man. become a parent, it really does. Because you can start to, like, really relate. Yeah. You yeah. know, to th- certain situations and things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we can move forward, man. Okay. So, last week, it was floating around. There was a story about Wells Fargo. So, um... I have, like, a meme pulled up, and it just says, Wells Fargo allegedly held fake job interviews for minority candidates for jobs that were already promised to others. I think I... I've heard about either heard about this or read about this. Right. So what they were trying to say is that they had these jobs, they had already did some interviews, they already had someone in mind, but I'm thinking... And this is just what I'm thinking is to make sure that they're meeting that quota that you have to meet. Exactly. Um, they started, you know, bringing in women and mm-hmm. minorities and interviewing them, and but knowing that they weren't going to get the position because yep. they already had whoever they were going to hire in mind for yep. it. So I don't know. I just thought that was really, really crazy. Um, and people are saying that it was inappropriate. It was morally wrong, ethical, ethically That's wrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess the person that was doing it is now has been fired. Uh, man, I won't say names, but the, I, I worked at a job, mm-hmm. and this job hired three black people back to back. It was like, but we were the only three. Mm-hmm. There was no more. I mean, the only three through, like, the whole company. Right. It was just us. So, like, I feel like a lot of jobs do that to meet the quota. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I don't know, man. I just... This is sometimes when things happen and the way they happen, you'd be like, that's not that's not coincidental. Right. No way is that coincidental. Yeah. So, like, I feel... But, I mean, you know, I, I, don't, I never knew if that was a true thing. Like, where companies got to ha- have a certain amount of like black people or people that of are color of, of color. Right. Well working. The thing is, I don't know if it's just like a law, but I mean we have affirmative action in place so that you can um give minorities and people that uh are discriminated against for whatever reasons so that they can have a chance. So mm-hmm. that is in place. You're supposed to be an equal opportunity employer. Right. So um that is one thing. And then jobs are really big now, especially since, COVID. you know, COVID. Yeah. They're really big on that diversity and inclusion. So they're having those, you know, meetings and talks, but also being conscious of hiring people and having like a diverse working environment. I've been at jobs where like I felt like you just hired me just because you needed you needed that color in here. I've been at jobs like that before. Oh yeah. 
And the way you talk to me and the way you treat me versus how you treat other people seem a little different. Right. So I don't really... What am, what am I really here for, buddy? <laughs> I've been in those meetings where they're talking about, like, okay, like, let's look at our numbers. Like, you know, are we diverse enough? How many men do we have? How many women do we have? Or do we have anyone that's disabled? Mm-hmm. Like, they're looking at the demographics for color and things like that. So I've been in those meetings. Okay. And it can be, it can be a little uncomfortable as far as, like, definitely as, like, a black woman. Yeah. Especially when they're like, oh, this is great. We just hired so and so, and they're like they fit all. They check all the boxes. Like they got a disability, they're minority, uh, they're yeah, you that's know, wild. That's, you know, whatever wild, gender yeah. that they were needing or lacking. Yeah, and it's just like oh, that's awkward. <laughs> like, and it's awkward for me because I have to be fake excited. Which you like? Yeah, Yay! it's great. <laughs> so excited, they're on board. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's wow. Uh, I can't remember. I, I, this sounds so familiar. I've probably read this story or something like that. But, yeah, man. I, again, that's just nasty. Yeah. And I want to correct myself because I said the person, um, one of the people were fired. But it actually was this man, his uh, J- Joe Bruno. Uh, he was Bruno. a former Wells Fargo executive in the wealth management team. Um mm. He was the one that brought it to light and said that Wells Fargo was practicing discrimination, you know, being discriminatory right. against people. And when he started to bring that up and complain, he was fr- fired in the summer of 2021. Mm. I, I can't really say surprised. Right. But I feel like this happens a lot. I feel like this happens in a lot of places. This happens in a lot of jobs. I feel like this is just, yeah. You know. I think this happened in the NFL not too long ago, and I think that might have been where I was uh, reading it. They were, like, giving... Uh, I think it was NFL. They were, like, giving black coaches, uh, like, interviews, but knowing that the black coaches didn't have the job. They were, like, promising, like, oh, you, you're a good candidate. We're going to call you. Right. But they had already in mind who they were giving the job to. Right. And they were doing that. I feel like that was in the NFL. Uh, y'all see, correct me if I was wrong, but I feel like that was that happened in the NFL. Yeah, and see, I'm not 100% sure about that, but but here's the thing with this is where I think this is where it goes wrong, too, is that... Like pe- the higher ups literally told employees um, to interview diverse candidates, even though they there was no realistic chance of them ever getting the job. Yeah, see, I feel like y'all just trying to steal my sauce. Yeah, like y'all just want to know what's happening. Like I don't, yeah, I don't know, man. Like if I if I'm getting saucy in the interview, I'm really giving up the information <laughs> in the interview, and y'all take y'all just taking the information, right? It's like, a, a, y'all should pay me for my time then. Like, I don't know. I, well. <laughs> yo, if I'm, if I'm, yo, say that. I'm say, working. <laughs> I'm not, though. No, but you're working. You said if you're giving up the sauce and doing all this, this and that, you want to get paid for your time? Because Even if I'm not, if y'all, if, y'all, if y'all bring me in for an interview and y'all already have in mind who y'all are hiring, I'm just here to meet a quota. Right. Pay me for my time. Okay. <laughs> then I'm not going to be as mad. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, like, if I don't have a shot in hell against another candidate, because you already have in mind you want this candidate. Yeah. Like, you really don't have any reason to hold any more interviews. Yeah. So now you're just making an ass out of me. Right. So pay me for my time. Yeah. That but is... even if I'm giving up the sauce in here, right. pay me for my time. Fact. <laughs> Either way, I'm here. Pay me for my time. Yeah. You know, and I can probably go on about my day. But, like, you know. I just hate that they're doing that to people because, I mean, it's so tough out here anyway when Boy. you're job hunting. Now, I know we have... Someone said that... um the unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in like thirty years or something. I don't. I don't even know what the unemployment rate is right now. I'll be honest with you. Right. I don't know what the rate is. I don't want to give like a fake number, a random number off the top of my head. But they said it's the lowest that it's been in a long time. But and that's because there's an abundance of jobs out there, right? But my thing is when it was hard still to hard. find a job, and it still is hard still. to find a good paying job. Boy. Imagine going in there excited for the interview. You prep yourself. You're like, oh, this could be it. This job could change my life. And they don't have any intention on hiring, on hiring you at all. Pay me for my time. <laughs> or it's going to get ugly in here. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yo. <laughs> it's to get ugly. And like, yo, as a black people, we can't, we got to stop letting it get ugly. But like, sometimes <laughs> You got to take it there. Every time. I got to take it there. <laughs> you have to so people can stop playing with you. I always yeah. say that. Like, sometimes you just have to stick up for yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm coming in here. Don't blows. But you, be, you, even though you might look a little crazy, 
Yo, my point got across, though. I know, but <laughs> then they'll be like, oh, my gosh. You had to call that security, didn't you? And this is why we don't <laughs> hire them anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'll be back on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Yo. Yo, seriously. Yo, see, we need a group that just goes around city to city. When stuff like this happens, we just pull up on the bank. They'll never let us live. Boy, I'm on y'all. <laughs> yo, we would be dead. Yo, I'm on you. I'm on. I'm on all. Well, I checkmate. I got you. I'm there. Wells Fargo is trash. Wells Fargo is dumb trash. Isn't? Aren't they the ones that was um giving out those? Yeah, they got in trouble for giving out those loans. So those mortgages. <laughs> there goes our people. Wells Fargo's ad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it anyway. They literally was out there real. They was yeah. out there giving people mortgages. Yeah. Like it's known. They were giving, Terrible mortgages. Yeah, those mortgages that people weren't able to afford. Oh, okay. And that's how they were tanking the housing market <laughs> and all that back during the recession. Wells Fargo is wild. Yo, they're trash. <laughs> yeah. uh, yo, I just thought about that. Like, what is wrong nah, with them? I didn't them? even know that. I didn't even know they was giving up tea Shiesty. like that. I mean, you know, just, everything's part of the plan. What's the plan? Keep us, keep us down there. Keep us down. Keep us down there. Keep us in underprivileged communities. Yeah, that's I agree. The plan. And I don't, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it either. It makes me angry on hey, the inside. I'm pulling up. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Yo, so, <laughs> we live in a wild simulation. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. That's why people go into the VR world. Just Yo, this is VR nuts. me. I'm on my way. They live here 24 wild. 7. Yo, this is wild. The world we live in is wild. Yeah, I'm not it even is. It's you. terrible, bro. You ain't safe nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, I mean, like, you know, minorities have a bad period, and and people that you know don't have no money. I don't. I hate saying like poor people because that sounds crazy to me. But well, a lot of people say poor is a mentality. Okay. I don't. I I don't see it that way. Right. I mean, poor is poor. It's either if a I don't got two dimes to rub together. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't pay my rent, poor. it's not just mental. Ah, uh, yeah, man. It's a fact. Uh, it could be. It can start as mental. Yeah. But uh, hey, if I'm hurting, I'm hurting. I never heard of that being poor as a mentality really? that's deep yeah that's what nina, that's what nina says to me all the time oh really oh, poor is, it's just a mentality no 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 i, I grew up where i had to take the crock pot from our house to our neighbor's house because we didn't have no hot water that's hey, having no money hey man we would have to get boil the water in a crock pot bring it back and take baths when i was like dumb young i was young <laughs> our next door neighbors was crackheads <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. We don't got to get into it. That's a different story. Hey, let it go. Let what? it go. Let it go. I'm letting it go. <laughs> I'm letting it go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm we were struggling for a little bit, but those are the stories I tell because it's a testimony because, uh, you know, all, both my parents have eventually, like, you know, did well for themselves yeah, and, and then put us in a position to do well for ourselves later on. But sometimes you have to experience, like, that struggle. Yeah, for sure. And that's, uh, that's the ugly stage. Yo, real. Was you traumatized by the crackheads? I won't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you can't start something and then stop. Nah, I mean, being like the thing about it is being young. Like, you just you know certain things, you hear certain things, but you pay no mind to it because you're a kid. Like, probably had some of the best times of my life as a youngin. Right, ripping and running the street. I had right. bikes. I could be out there. I'm talking about this is young. This is back when stray pit bulls was running around. Facts. And you was just scared when you seen pit bulls <laughs> in the streets. It was just like, yo, it right. was just, it was just wild. Like, I don't know. Yeah, what was that? Back in the day, the dogs would <laughs> always get either be loose, get loose. Yo, I had no clue. All I all I know is that's that's when it was. And uh dead broke. Yeah. Uh, my, 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 I mean, my mom and dad were like making it happen. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't no like walk in the park you feel right. me it wasn't no way you know like but like for us it was like yo this is amazing yeah. i'm a kid though you feel me so yeah. it's like i'm not really understanding what's happening but like yo this is the bomb <laughs> that's all i know you yeah. feel me but as you get older you know you start like you know hearing stories about being younger you start remembering things you're like ah maybe that wasn't yeah. the best call yeah <laughs> like yeah i that was a little bad, guys. I don't know. But, yeah. Hey, man. That was a little bad. They were good guys. people. <laughs> they, they were good people. The crackheads or your parents? The, the crackheads. They, uh. were good people. they were good people. I just remember one night we were sitting out on the porch or the little st the dead. little steps. Uh-huh. And they were just chilling over on that side. We were chilling on our side. They were talking. My dad and them were talking. It was, just, it was, it was a beautiful night. Oh, 
Okay. Time of my life. I don't even know. It was just, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with crackheads. I know a few. I knew a few. Like, you know, people do crack. Nah, people do crack. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Did you ever smell crack before? <laughs> Yo, how are you trying to take this show, bro? <laughs> Where are you trying to take us live? I'm just saying because, uh, like, one time when I lived... <laughs> one time when I lived, like, in Upper Darby, I had I smelled this smell. It yeah. was a smell I'd never smelled before yeah. in my life. Bless your nostrils. And I was like, what is... Because <laughs> the way the house was set up, all everything came <laughs> through the vents. Yeah, y'all were and connected. And I was like, what is this smell? Mm. It, like, overtook everything. And I think it was some type of, like, smoked drug. Mm. Like, either heroin or crack or something. So, like I was saying, like, our community, <laughs> we got to ra- raise our community up. Like, we got we to gotta do more. <laughs> we got to do better. <laughs> Have you ever smelled crack before, though, bro? That is wild. We talking about the community. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about no. booger sugar right now? That's wild. <laughs> oh my gosh, not booger sugar, yo! That used to take me down. That is wild, huh? <laughs> I just want to know. I I need to smell it because I want to know what it smells like. <laughs> I, smell I just want to know if it, if that was what I was smelling. There's a shot. <laughs> There's a shot. Hey, you smell a lot of things in one day. I never smelled anything that smelled like that before, and I mm. never smelled it again. <laughs> so I was like, what was that? Those people moved out, like, shortly after. <laughs> <laughs> they did. I don't know, La. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> trauma talk. Trauma. <laughs> talk about trauma. Oh, my God. All right, let's move man. on. Hey, that's us uh, raise the black community up. Man. Facts. And yeah. recycle our black dollar. Yeah, and the black, black businesses. Yeah, man. Well, speaking of black, so Walmart, <laughs> <laughs> for Juneteenth, Walmart decided to come out with some ice cream. Ah, uh, fire. A Juneteenth ice cream. Disrespectful. Yeah, but it kind of sounded good. I it, know it sounded good. You know why it sounded good? Because it's a stereotype the, of black people? It's shit that black people eat. Yeah. The flavor was definitely black. Yeah, it was like, what was it? I don't have it Strawberry here. something. It was something with strawberry in yeah, it. Yeah, it was strawberry and like velvet, red velvet Come cake on, or something. Just point sounds- me to a black person now full of red velvet. I know. I was like, <laughs> mm, mm. I was like, sounds good to me. Well, someone got mad. <laughs> no, we got mad. Yeah. <laughs> and... Now they're pulling the Juneteenth ice cream. Yeah. They, the fact that it's called Juneteenth ice cream is trash. Did you see the black hand on it? Did you see like, oh, the... Oh, yeah. I <laughs> Yo, can see this, it now. It's wild. It's a black and brown <laughs> hand. Okay, so it's swirled red velvet and cheesecake flavored ice cream. Come on, man. I don't know about cheesecake. You like cheesecake? I can't even eat ice cream <laughs> at this point. And ice cream is my favorite thing. The heck... Anyways, it, it, like probably, it would probably be a hit in the, in the urban community. Yeah, it would have. I feel like it would have banged. I feel like we didn't have to call it Juneteenth. Yeah. I feel like we didn't have to make the cover of the ice cream the way it looked. Exactly. With the red, yellow, and green colors. Yeah, we could have easily just made that type of flavor. I, I'm sure that type of flavor of ice cream already exists. Probably. Yeah, probably. We could have just put some regular packaging on there. I don't know. It's the celebration edition. <laughs> That's like what they it. called it. Juneteenth like celebr no, celebration edition, Juneteenth ice cream. <laughs> that name is just trash. <laughs> so um they're pulling it from the shelves because um people are really saying that it they just felt like it was inappropriate. Get it out of here. A waste of my time. So um <laughs> Uh, Walmart said in a statement, Juneteenth holiday marks a celebration of freedom and independence. Mm-hmm. However, we receive feedback that a few items cause concern a few. <laughs> for some of our customers and we want to sincerely apologize. We are reviewing our assortment and will remove items as appropriate. How many items do they have? So there is also paper plates. Oh, uh, disrespectful. <laughs> With the Juneteenth high five. And they know black people use nothing but paper plates. And then there's some there's napkins that say share and celebrate African American culture, emancipation, and enduring hope. So they was trying to put together a whole cookout. 
Fact. Okay, I see what they was trying to do. There I, were I plates, um, and I think plates and napkins that also said, it's the freedom for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of <laughs> it's, the, it's the freedom for it's me. It's the freedom for me. I was like, didn't they get a like who? <laughs> who else did this? Wise Market or Giant or something? When, Somebody else did. When yeah. they was make, they put chicken and watermelon on sale. What? This is what you think of us? <laughs> That's a hell of a sale. Well, <laughs> that's a hell of a sale. Yo, chicken and watermelon. That is a hell of a sale. Kool Aid, that's all the stereotypical. Yeah, that's stuff. mad disrespectful. Yeah, I'm mad that they do that in Juneteenth. Juneteenth is, well, damn, we already in June. Damn yeah, damn. it's the 19th of the month. Of I know it's gonna month. be like a month away, but we already at the end of May, so damn, yeah. man, we here. Yeah. That's wild disrespectful. And someone, I don't know, was it you? Someone Whoa. said, to, I Whoa. don't know. No, someone said to me, they were like, um, if you wanted it, people wanted it to be a federal holiday. So this is now, now, I, maybe it wasn't it you. It definitely wasn't me. Okay. So someone was saying that people wanted it to be Juneteenth to be a federal holiday and now is being hijacked by these big, you know, companies. But you gotta, we gotta look at it from a point of view that every, every federal holiday is celebrated like in some weird way right like america makes money off of all the all those holidays so like right. fourth of july like independence day mm-hmm. that there's we throw cookouts for it you yeah. know what i mean but I, there's and there's like fourth of july sales and yeah you know, so like there's so like you gotta like, america gonna get their money either way people right. are gonna capitalize off this either way mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but like it's 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 i don't think i have a problem with people capitalizing off of it it's how you capitalize off of it yeah like, don't put Juneteenth on all your products and expect us to go buy. Like, yeah. that's wild. That is, and it's corny. <laughs> yeah, and I think Juneteenth, like, hey, man, we should only buy from black people. Right. If it's not black-owned, then we don't purchase. Right. And, I feel like that's what we yeah. should do. And <clears throat> there are black uh, ice cream makers out there. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, there are. So, you know, if <laughs> you want to look for another option, go ahead. Right. I don't know. I just feel like somebody was saying, like, it's ours, leave it alone. Like, and I heard a lot of that circulating online. But then also, it's not like Juneteenth just came out of nowhere. Nah. No one cared about it until in the last couple of years. Well, maybe not no one cared No, about I mean, it, as far as, like, the like those big businesses oh, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Not until they made it popular. Now, now that now that is popular, when was that, like, last year or the year before? I think the year, either was, I think it was the, the year, year before. before. Yeah, once that got noted, you already know that the following year and then this year, they going yeah. all in. So now once Juneteenth, June 9th, once Juneteenth gets here, I'm sure it's about to be ads out the wazoo. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the ad. Oh, I'm waiting no. for it. I'm waiting for it. Right. You don't think it's going to happen? It's it eventually going to get to that point. It might. You know, come on, man. It's basically there right now. I know, but I'm waiting for it, it in print. <laughs> Yo, it is printed. Come on, I mean no, but hey, you you know what I'm saying. I'm waiting for it. Like yo, I just feel like you, yo, racism a battle. I don't know if we'll ever win. I know. But, I feel like that too. You know, America's America going. America's going to America. No, America's going to American. No, America. America is going to America. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. It is America. America is, is going America. to. America. <laughs> With the K's at the end. Hey. America. K- K- <laughs> I see. I see. I see what you was trying to do there. <laughs> For real. No, I see. I see what you was trying to do. With you the was K's. double entendre. I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are, America going to do what America do. And America is uh, <laughs> rob, kill, and steal. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, Sadly get with it or get lost, buddy. Uh, yeah, that sucks, man. Um, Walmart, thank you for pulling it off the shelves. Uh, but I, we got to get in y'all offices. What, what, what are y'all doing cost? up there? <laughs> Who is thinking? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, everyone is, like, completely, like, tone deaf. Like, I just feel like that was a really dumbass thing <laughs> They don't to know do. how to address it. Yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't know how to address Who, it. Who yeah. said, you know what we should, you know what we should do? We should get plates and napkins that say it's the freedom for me. <laughs> Black people love paper plates. Yeah, and napkins. So, like, if I needed paper plates, I probably would have bought. But it's just wild. Let's do an ice cream 
that is red velvet and cheesecake. <laughs> like who is who's making the like the coming up with these ideas? That's what I'm saying. Somebody's we there might be one of us up there giving up the sauce. They ain't one of us. They might be one of us giving up the sauce. They might be like partially one of us. I t- yeah. Giving up the sauce. And I told you I'll be in meetings, and not even just in my current job, but in the past, where I am in meetings where things like that are being done, and I'm just like, I'm just going to be silent. I just don't even say anything. Why? Give us some sauce. Oh, uh, yeah. Why? Wouldn't it be cool if we wrote a rap for our kids and they shut up? Like, oh, no. Man, this is wild. Just be normal because I used to teach. Like, just be normal and <clears throat> yeah. genuine and they're going to like you. You don't have to come up with these things that you think are so cool and innovative. I do like when the teachers get in their rap bag and make a rap for kids who remember, like, numbers. and I, I think that's fire. That's not what they were doing. Oh. <laughs> was, this, was this for Black History Month? No. It was oh. just how to engage kids oh, how to and, engage like, get kids. them like to be interested in the program that we had at that point. And I'm just mm. like, not this way. Like, I just feel like this is just corny. Someone's bringing in their karaoke machine and just stupid stuff. <laughs> Wearing I just their hat like, backwards. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah. Like, that's how it would be, real. And I would be like, just stop it. Like, if like, we can do cool things, but, like, it doesn't have to be... I don't know, just that stereotypical yeah. thing that, oh, they're black or minority mm. kids. Let's Let's rap. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, black kids enjoy rap. Yeah. But... They enjoy a lot of other things. Yeah, too. there's other so things that they uh, like to do. Yeah, bro, I, I'm with you. 100%, yeah, 100. That's wild. Yeah, we gotta do better, man. <sighs> let's reach the kids, but let's reach them in a different way, man. Big Music facts. isn't everything. So let's move on. Music isn't everything. It's everything to me. <laughs> Trust me. All right, we want to move on to this Jack Harlow clip. <sighs> the next yeah, two man. topics are for are your clips, bro. Oh man, I just think this is wild. Uh, <laughs> I got to find a clip. I just think this is wild. Okay. I can't really agree with it. I'm not going to play the whole clip only because it's really long. And, uh, again, nobody wants to sit through long-windedness. Right. So uh, we're right. just going to jump into it, and then we'll just, we'll, we'll, you know. We'll talk about it. Yeah. I think that many black men are anti-Jack Harlow because oh. she kinda he's sounds making like a me. point to put black women at the <laughs> forefront of his work in a way that we don't often see with black male rappers. The flocking of support he's getting, surpassing many of their faves, points to a potential shifting in who has the power in music. I would argue that the long-standing reign of Drake, coupled with the quick come-up of Jack Harlow, is mm. threatening to the typical, overtly misogynistic, overtly anti-black woman music that has reigned supreme at the <clears> hands <throat> of men who often fancy themselves as the arbiters and tastemakers of hip-hop mm. and rap. Because now it's becoming clear we see who the real tastemakers are, mm. and maybe, just maybe, disrespecting women is not going to continue to get you as far as you hoped it would. Maybe, just maybe, you're not going to be able to disrespect women. You're not going to be able to ascend mm. to the heights of your favorite rapper a la Future oh and my disrespect gosh. women in that way anymore. Maybe it's just not going to work. I think a that many... Future. So... Uh... <laughs> uh so I, I want to start by saying that uh, I, I do not agree with this statement. Um, again, I think I said last week, again, no hate to Jack Harlow. I like Jack Harlow. Uh, I enjoy both of his albums. Um, I, I, I do like Jack Harlow as an artist. Um, I don't know where Jack Harlow, uh, I don't know when Jack Harlow became like the spokesman for black women. Facts. Or just the the the, the guy that, is black women's heartthrob or I, I don't know. Um, there's artists, there's been artists out there for, first of all, for, okay. <laughs> I get confused on topics like this because as much as we say that men are disrespecting black women, I won't, okay, I'll say in the music industry, like back, 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 maybe like a couple years ago, we was probably hard on the women. Not we, but m- m- the rappers were probably hard on the women. Probably. No, for sure. <laughs> for a hundred percent. And I love rap. A hundred percent. Big fat. But now I feel like I feel like rappers are uplifting black women. Uplifting? I, I why well, consider it considers what maybe <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. Okay. Well, I feel like I, I I I feel like I feel like Jack Harlow is just is, is just still in our swag. Jack Harlow is just doing everything we doing. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so I mean like he's getting it from somewhere. Okay. So I mean like sure are there some artists are there some artists today that still down talk uh women for sure. Big 100%. Facts. But there's artists in the game now that uplift women 
who who don't speak down on women, who just appreciate women. You know what I'm saying? So like I feel like I feel like there's been change. There's been lead way. You know what I'm saying? Not it's not every artist's intention in the game to just disrespect women. Right. I don't think it's anyone's intention to well, I don't some. I don't even want to say that because I think some people are intentionally For being sure. disrespectful 100%. and don't care. 100%. But what I also think is it has, like, people have been saying things for years about the way women are depicted in music videos and in songs. But, it like, we started to do it more, I feel like. So then rappers became more conscious of not just only having, like, that either, you know, stereotypical light-skinned, you know, pretty hair, you know, girl, and being more conscious of having, like, darker-skinned, brown-skinned women, people that look like them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because these a lot of the times it's these darker-skinned rappers that are trying to bring in people that look foreign and yeah. forgetting about the other women in the community, and that is a Facts. problem. But you're already, it doesn't even matter because you're disrespecting those girls in the video anyway. Yeah. So, a couple of things, as far as, I think Jack Harlow, when he tried to, like, it looked like he was trying to shoot a shot at Sweetie. Yeah. I feel like that's when people are like, oh, okay, Jack Harlow, oh, he like black girls. You know what I mean? I think that's when that kind of started. And it just took on a life of its own from there. Me, personally, I'm not a big, I don't know what the big deal is. Is about Harlow? Him. Yeah. And maybe just because I'm older and I'm just, you know, like it doesn't hit me. Like it doesn't resonate charmer. with me. He's a charmer. I, I personally think that Jack Harlow is is uh, still in Drake's wag, but that's just that's just what I think. Well, probably, yeah. Uh, but Jack, Jack, he's a he's a charmer. He charms the women. That's what he does. He's a charmer. In what videos? Uh, no, you ever seen a Jack interview? No. He's a charmer. Okay, so let me do my Jack Harlow research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get into Jack a little bit. Jack's a charmer. He charms the pants off women. <laughs> That's but, problematic. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Oh, um, <laughs> look at me being a typical rapper. <laughs> I know. Uh, facts. Nah, man. I just don't. I don't. I, I don't believe. I believe there are um, rappers that are that, that are champion for women. Um, again, it may not always show in some of these rappers' lyrics. Um, the overuse of the B word. Right. That that could be a problem. Are uh, you hearing that as much? Because I feel like this is my my thought. And I'm sorry, Ra, I just want to add this think? to what you're saying. My thought process, process is rap back in the day, especially when I was like a teenager, it was more focused on like selling drugs, pimping, and like, you know what I mean? Like running through women. <laughs> Nowadays, rap, so you heard a lot of like misogynistic like yeah. lyrics mm -hmm. and things like that and visuals. Right. But then nowadays rap is more about like doing drugs and and you know what I mean, pimping themselves. <laughs> it's like no, but and the B word. Yeah, I don't like the B word, so I try not to say the B word. Yeah, but are they saying the B oh, word as sure. much? Uh, no, they've been calling y'all thoughts and hoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> they just oh, I've been I didn't scoop me a thotty thought. <laughs> I know. I don't know. She give me neck and top. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Come on, bro. No, like, that's true. Because I was like, I'm trying to think who I listen to. But I'm like, when you think about Brooklyn drill music, they are still yeah. talking about women crazy. Yeah, super crazy. But like, it don't, you know, like, I don't know, man. I, I just don't. I, okay, I don't think that Jack Harlow is the new face of women. Right, no. I'm not sure any artist is a new face of women. But I do think in the artist community, uh, we have came a long way and we have gotten better with things. I'm not saying we're 100% there. I'm not saying we just 100% stop, like, uh, dissing women and saying terrible things about women, especially women of our, our color and things like yeah. that. But we've, we, have, we have come a long way. A long way or just a way? I'm not saying, like... Long, long, yeah. we came a long way. Because I don't think there's been... Yo, you, Big Pimpin' was wild. <laughs> <laughs> Look where we are from... Yo, do you ever watch the Uncensored Tip Drill video? Yes. Boy, <laughs> we came a long way. Yo, I used to love that song. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> we came a that long way. That was my song. I'm we came from Big Pimpin', Tip Drill, Drop Down, Get Your Ego On, Pimp Juice by Nelly, which was... Wow, but uh Drop Down and Get Your Ego on was yeah. fire. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but to now look where we got. We got Kendrick sticking up. We got uh I don't know if you're a fan of Corday, but Corday. Mm -hmm. Like we got we got rappers out there that are, are speaking for, you know, us. Right. In a okay. way that you would want to hear it. Like, you know, like it's not all <sighs> perk thirties and lean.
and thotties. <laughs> Baddies, right? Whatever they are, whatever right? they're calling them. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, I don't know. Okay, that's just. My I mean, take. I with the know. clip, I I half agree and I half don't agree. So oh, that's man. all. That's kind of my take. I think some of it is kind of trash, but then I do think, as far as the trash part of it, is just making it seem like Jack Harlow is this great person, and that's yeah. why all the black women love him. You know what I mean? She didn't hear that new Future album. That was a problem. Yeah, exactly. She didn't hear it. No, she didn't hear and it. then a la Future. I'm like, I don't even remember him talking. I got to re-listen to it. He wasn't nah, talking about it. He got a little bit in the back. He got, I, was listen, I listened to Future, like, Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday. Right. He got a little bit. He got, okay. a little, he got in the bag a little bit. Okay. But, I mean, it's Future. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. It's not It's not what Future was. He's, he's grown a little bit. But right. I don't know. I just... Who knows? I don't know. All I'm saying is Jack Harlow, I'm a fan of Jack Harlow, always will be. I enjoyed his first album. I enjoyed his second album. I'm a fan of Jack Harlow. Uh, but you don't guy. think he's But I don't think he's the face, the face of, of black sticking women up for respect. women. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's the face of that. <laughs> That's kind of wild. hasn't even reached me yet, so I feel <laughs> like if, that, if it hasn't reached me, then nah, I don't. You didn't listen to the Jack Harlow Project? No. Uh, you should check it out. It's fire. No, it is fire, a hundred percent. I don't think I will be doing that. Okay, <laughs> look at the hate. I just, just, I don't think so. Look at the hate. All right, well, you know, on your free time, whatever, you be like, ah, I'm tired of listening to this drill. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me get some substance. <laughs> uh, tune into the Jack Harlow. All right, check it out. All right, uh, this next clip, this next clip is just wow, and um, I don't even know how we got here. I'm going to be honest with you, and it just threw me for a loop. <laughs> this is all real. It's like, no. I'm going to be honest. It just threw me for a loop, and, like, <laughs> there's men that think like this. So, you know, we'll just, again, I'll play the clip, and then we'll just, we'll go from there, man. <laughs> it has pushed me away that I've been dating or flaked on a date. Say we've been going good. Say we've been fucking mm. around for two months. We've been fucking, fucking, fucking. She flaked. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I got to work. And she might be telling the truth or not. I pull all the way back. When she called me, she going to lick my ass. You want me back, you're going to lick my ass for a long time, for 30 minutes, however long I feel. And I don't even care for getting my ass licked, but I just want you to lick it because you're going to be submitting to me. Period. You're going to lick my ass. <laughs> Maybe I took a shower. I didn't. Either way, you're going to lick my ass. If my ass don't get licked, we're not getting back together. I got so many questions. Now, back in the day, now, I have always been on this show. All right. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. All right, for one, no. how did he get there? Well, he said maybe I took a shower. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, I did. did. <laughs> you gonna lick this ass? <laughs> Either way, <laughs> you. He said you were gonna lick this ass until I'm satisfied. Yeah, he said I don't even like getting my ass licked. <laughs> you must enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> if, but no, minutes. he said that's the way that she she's going to submit, submit to him. And see, I don't like, that's what, like, is trash to me. Like, I hate that. Like, it really makes me angry. The word submit or? No, I okay. feel like you're trying to punish her. I, I feel, I feel and the And I don't like that. Way. I don't, I do not like that either. Yeah, because uh, who are you? <laughs> King, King Daddy ass. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yo, for King, real. King ass daddy. <laughs> King know. ass daddy. <laughs> no. No, for real. Honestly, as a man, if I was this guy and I made this video, I would be super embarrassed for myself. Facts. Um, that's wow. That's, <laughs> that's People get wild. online and do whatever they... That's why not everybody should have an account, a TikTok account. No, nah, but I did uh, get, got into this guy a little bit. Uh, he runs an um, alpha male club. Okay. So he shows men how to be alpha males. And <sighs> it's just... This, okay. The whole alpha male thing, <laughs> this is really starting to piss me off because it's just like the word woke. When we were mm -hmm. using woke at woke at first, it was fine. Then everybody woke. turned and it oh, you're was too like, woke, buddy. Now you're now woke is like like now it's like a joke. Sorry, my stomach's growling. So, <laughs> <laughs> so so now it's a joke. And it's the same thing. I'm always hungry every Sunday. This is embarrassing. It's the same. <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. And that's it's, only funny because we had a whole conversation before we started the pod. And yeah. Now just, go ahead. 
And it's the same thing with this alpha male thing. Because okay. I remember a couple years ago when people started saying that. Because I was even saying it. Like, I'm an alpha female and I do feel like that. Mm. But now it's turned into... Are you... What? Are you requiring the licking of ass? No. Okay. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, you, if you are an alpha person, you don't even really have to say it. Okay. Right? It's just in a way that you, you know, you. it's like the way you live your life, the way you interact with other people. Yeah. Whatever. But now you are saying you're an alpha male, but you're look how you're abusing your power, using definitely your power abusing. towards somebody. Yeah, def- definitely abusing. Like that's ridiculous. Now it's like a now that is a joke. Now I want to I'm, I'm I want to do some research. I want to dig in on this channel. I want to hear what he's talking about. He has more videos. He does. Oh, that's right. I forgot he I went on a, his page. A whole channel. Yeah, that I, I haven't watched. I haven't really got time to watch the videos, but I want to dig in to see what he's talking about. Right. Uh, I want to. I want to find this video in particular to right. see what was saying, what was said before this clip. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, how do we get to the ass licking? Like, I just, uh... because she had to work or she couldn't, she flaked on you for a little or whatever. Yeah. Now she's required to lick ass. Yeah, he got dissed or something. That's wild. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo. Because if that's you want to force her to do something like that, I could see him being very controlling, manipulative, possibly abusive, mm. you know, and, and that's what I feel like is like, that's annoying to me. I don't like that. I th- I, I just wow. When I saw that clip, I was like, yo, what in the world <laughs> did I just watch? <laughs> Why do you come across stuff like that? Yo, I'm trying to tell you, anytime after 10 o'clock, it's, <laughs> it's no holds bar on my TikTok. Right. It's everything. That's and for crazy. me, it's just be wild. So when I saw that clip, I was like, ah. <laughs> what do you... What? I wasn't sure I wasn't sure what he was trying to express to the people. Right. I don't know if he was just trying to, like, alpha males get ass licked. Or if he was trying to break the stereotype of ass licking. Right. I'm not sure. I'm just saying it was a lot. For me, and I just couldn't understand where I, we were I don't it. think alpha males get their salad toss. Hey, he, he, he I don't like my salad toss, but you're going to eat this goddamn salad. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's the fork. vibe I was getting from him. Well, it may be clean, it may not be. Yeah. <laughs> but that ain't up to me. <laughs> it may be clean, it may not be. <laughs> don't you're ask gonna me. You're going to eat this ass. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't care how long it takes. Till you submit. Like, <laughs> he it sounds like said, a fool. There is no time limit. Yeah. <laughs> Half hour, I don't know. Whatever I feel comfortable with until I'm done. Yo. <laughs> that, yo, that's wild. That's I'm not even going to hold you crazy, bro. That is, to me, that was wild. So I had to, like, like <laughs> yo, like. And people I are, just, somebody's reading that, like, I'm going to do this. This is facts. I really want to go for the comments. Because I oh, want to see what the comments. look at them. I got to find a video. I can't <laughs> find, like, I got to go through his YouTube and find this video. I'm here for the comments because if I see anybody in that comment that's right on, brother. Yeah, that's a fact, <laughs> Jack. Like that's I feel a like fact, Jack. I feel like everybody that agrees with him talks like that. That's a fact, Jack. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> like, come on, player. That is the opposite <laughs> way of what you're like. How you should be with a woman. Nah, I, I agree with that. That's a little wild. That might be a bit too far. And is she a freak, John? If she's like, okay, daddy. Um. Big facts. You gotta be. Don't know about freak. Just maybe a, a loss of self respect. Weak. Freak John, weak John. Just a little, <laughs> the, not enough self respect for herself. Self respect. Self respect. Self respect won't have you eating dirty ass for hours on end. <laughs> to a big, big that ass is daddy disgusting. say stop. <laughs> Maybe it's clean, maybe it ain't. Like, yeah, yo, nah, I just was, can't that get that stress. out that my was, mind. Yeah, that was uh, stress. This video has been on my brain for a while. <laughs> I just don't I don't understand how you got there. It's and I, w- I really want to understand. Yo, yeah. people think like that. It's almost like that pimp mentality. Like, he, uh, I could see him probably agreeing with, like, pimp-like views. He holds alpha male courses. Who would want to learn from him? Alpha males. No, beta males. Cause if beta males that are turning into alphas. That want to turn into alphas. But you were born a beta and you're going to always be one. You can upgrade. By, a, like, what? Challenging the alpha. Like, I'm thinking of, like, you, a real learn, wolf pack. If you learn the alpha ways. In a real wolf pack, if well, you're a beta, you stay beta. Yeah, but, like, in a human wolf pack, <laughs> once I upgrade and learn alpha ways, I become an alpha. But and that, now that's I can not teach. your true self, real. You could be. I don't know. I, I have no clue. I'm not part of this club. I don't even identify with this club. <laughs> <laughs> I don't identify with anything this guy says. 
I was just saying it was an interesting clip, and now I got to go do some uh, YouTube research. I got to dig into the YouTube bag. I guess you're right, because I'm like, I feel like a large amount of that whole alpha beta thing is like confidence. So what if you learn confidence? Can you learn confidence, or do you just uh, have you to can. be confident? No, nah, you can learn confidence. Once you learn to accept the things you don't like, mm-hmm. then you also, you're also confident about it now. Right. Okay. So, I mean, like, you can learn confidence, but I, I just don't... I, I don't I don't know if that's alpha male what he's doing. I think it's no, more it's of not. like, yo, my women do what I say. It's just like them OGs like back in the day they used to always say like how they would talk to like they're supposed to be there to like train up these young men that are in the street. And then yeah. they end up telling them all this crazy BS that they shouldn't be telling them. Right, right. And then, you know, they're misguiding the people that are coming after them. And I think that's problematic for me because that man is giving out advice that I don't feel like it's good advice. That's terrible advice. Somebody's going to tell their, <laughs> their significant other. Get down on your knees. You're going to eat this ass until I'm ready. <laughs> that's why. I, I don't know. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. A little disrespectful to me, but... Again, right. It's... I think it's disrespectful, too. It's men. All right, so moving on, we're going to go to the things that make you go, hmm, <laughs> segment. I thought you were going to get the clip. Man, I was. Oh, but you didn't. It's okay. <laughs> I just had a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> I just be, yo, I be wanting to do it, and then when I sit down, I always start working on something else, and I'm like, shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's okay. So, all right. Um, but I'll do it for you. Things that make you go, hmm. I'd rather the clip. Yeah, me too. Like, <laughs> no, I'm joking. That was a, that was good. No, it wasn't. So, <laughs> this is from a listener. Oh, yeah. The first thing is, do you believe a dysfunctional person that comes from a dysfunctional family can become a fully functional and healthy-minded person? So I'll say this again. There was a lot of function in it. Because I think they feel like they're extremely dysfunctional. (laughs) That person is, which makes me laugh. Okay, so do you believe a dysfunctional person coming from a dysfunctional family can become a fully functional and healthy-minded person? Or will they always have a level of dysfunction or toxicity to them? That was for function. (laughs) All right. um, It depends on how dysfunctional we're talking and how dysfunctional the family was. Okay, so I will say from what I just kind of in general know is that they are with someone that comes from, like, a family that's really codependent or dependent on each other. Ah. Um, You know, from the mom to the mother's kids. Okay. So the siblings and the mom are, like, extremely... Codependent. They they rely on each other. For everything. Even if they have significant others or whatever. Yeah, I rely on my people. Yeah. Yeah. And so it causes a rift with other relationships that they may have because the family comes first. And then the family, they're, they're not the type to be like, oh, we love your significant other. They're nice. No, then they're like... F you. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say that's going to be hard to break, man. I'll be right. honest with you. That's If they've been dependent on each other for so long, it's kind of mm-hmm. like somebody that the family's been dependent on. If if they break that bond, it's kind of like turning their back on the family. Right. And that's uh, how they yeah, feel. That That's going to be hard to break. I'll be honest with well, you. Well, I think that's the issue that they've ran into multiple times. And then it turns yeah. into... Because you don't want to have to tell your significant other, like... I, I want you to stop talking to your family or stop yeah. being around them. But then it's like, but you're basically saying that because you're like, this is a problem for me. You know what I mean? And that person can't, it's like the person doesn't understand. It's like, you just don't like my family. And they're like, no, it's not that. I just, you. you yeah, you're too dependent on your family. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's, a, that's a hard thing. That's a hard thing to break. Uh, right. I think you just got to let the person know like, yo, look, I love your family. Right. I see your family like my family if we're together. If that's what if that's where this if that's where we are in this stage of the relationship. Right. But uh I do feel like you you depend on your family for a lot of things that we could take care of. You know right. what I'm saying? Or things that we don't really need from your family. You depend on your family to provide for us or whatever. <sighs> it's it, that's a hard mentality to break. It is. And that was what I said because I was like, this isn't something that just started. I mean, this is uh, 
they have been family this person's whole life. Yeah, and so, that's all he knows. Yeah. So how are you going... Like, that's not something you can fix. I feel like... And they're like, oh, I'm supposed to just deal with it? And I'm not like, no, all. you could leave. Like yeah, That's an option. If, you, if yeah. it's too bad and you kind of just... If it gets to the point where you're like, yo, why every freaking time? Yeah. You know, if that starts to create friction and arguments every time you guys, you find yourself arguing over, like, his family and him to being, like, so codependent on his family, you know, it might be best for you guys to split because that's not mm-hmm. how you like it. You know what I'm saying? Right. He might enjoy it that way. He Or he might not enjoy it that way, but he's been winning it so long that that's just normal to him. Mm-hmm. And again, I, you can always help somebody change their ways, not change who the person is, but you can help them change their ways. Right. So, you know, you that's always an option, but that may take longer than what you expect. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, when and, and of course in a way of in, in a way of changing ways, there's always that potential of a relapse. Exactly. So I mean, you know, the, this, that's tough. And if the person doesn't see anything wrong with it, that's like that's that's the first step. Yeah, if they don't see nothing wrong with it, how it's are almost you going like you're creating a problem because they don't see the problem. Yeah, so they feel like you're just attacking their family for no reason. For so, no reason. You know, if y'all can't get past that part, no, then don't even worry about trying to help him change his ways in certain areas. But uh, yeah, some people live like that, and some people totally enjoy that. Some people that's a okay with them. Hey, my family, come and help. They take care of this. Uh, it's just the way it's always been, and that's the way it's going to continue to be. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to deal with anything like that. And I think it's important to, like, like I really think therapy is important, especially right. in situations like that. But I would I would be worried at this stage in the game for me if a person isn't working on themselves or have worked on themselves, learn boundaries with people. Because that's the thing. There's a lack of boundaries in that situation. Oh, for period. sure. Yeah, so, you just got to, yeah, uh, yeah that, that would be tough. That would be tough for me too. Uh, that would be that would be tough. Yeah, I I don't know if I can see myself in that situation. Right. Mm-mm. Yeah, that would that would that's that would be a trigger. Right, especially when like the parent on the parent level of that situation, the parent is like terrible. Ah. Uh, you know, like you know where you have some parents that are like really needy with their kids. Yeah. And they always are gonna need something, need food, need money, need All a the ride, time. need you know All my rent the paid. I need this. I need you to be here and sleep here. Like no matter the time of the day. Yeah. Yeah, I need you. Yeah. <laughs> when <laughs> I call, get here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he gotta go running. Almost makes you seem like a, a mama's boy or a daddy's girl. Yeah. If that's depending on what it is. You yeah. Know? Uh, yeah. That's that would be tough. For me, that would be tough. That would create a lot of arguments because I would be like, yo, you always like, yo, what's, what's going and on And especially if the parent don't like you. Oh, come on, man. That's that's even more of an argument. Yeah. And it's just too many dysfunctional things. Yeah, you come, but don't bring her. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Disrespect. Yeah. And that's a, that's a hard place for a guy to be. Yeah. Like when he found someone he loves, but the family don't get along with the one he loves. Oh, my right. God. Well, I got to go to the function. I know. I'll be back. <laughs> I know. That would be tough. Like, I I don't know. And plus for me, and this is just me, because yeah. there's not anyone, I, there usually isn't someone that my parents or family doesn't like without reason, right? Okay. So, like, if I was dating someone and they just did not like them, that would be, prob- like, problematic for mm. me. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to date someone that my parents or family just didn't like. So, like, if you found a perfect guy mm-hmm. <laughs> and perfect, Everything you're looking for. Yeah. Qualities, exception. Ah, chef kiss. <laughs> right. And your parents just found something about me they just didn't like. They would like him. If he was everything that I was looking for and had all the qualities that I liked. But th- they found something they just did not like about him. There was just one thing they couldn't get over. It, we would have to talk about it. Like, what is it? Like, that's, like, literally, that's how we are. Like, what's the problem? Because there's no reason why you should be not liking a person because you don't date them. Okay, so their problem was small. You could just, if their problem was something small and not that big, you could just get over it? They're going to have to get over um, it. Like, I, this is something that y'all, you're going to need to work out because we can't have this ref. So you want to show up, you still show up to the functions with your significant other? Yeah, because they're going to have to get over that. <laughs> if it's not something that's like... <laughs> If it's not like, like if it's nothing major, yeah, I mean, okay. cause the the only way that they're not gonna like somebody is if they've literally done something like to me, yeah, um, or something you know that was wrong and unforgivable, and they've even forgiven for things like that. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but ain't no way that they're just not gonna like somebody. Yeah, cause okay. then I'm looking at them with the side, the dude with the side eye, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> 
That's understandable. If they don't like you, no one must like you then. <laughs> There's problems if my family doesn't you're, like you. Yeah, like you're a weirdo if they don't, because they're the easiest, they're like easy to get along with for the most part. Okay. What? No, nah, nah, that's fine. What do you mean? No, nah, I just <laughs> maybe, maybe they're easy to get along with you in your eyes. Maybe someone else that may come in, they find it, may find it like. They're not that easy to get along with. They're the nicest people in the world, bro. Don't you say <laughs> nothing saying, about them. No. It's like, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I know I'm what just, you mean. Yeah, but like maybe on their end, they might be like, I feel like there was a little, weird, a little weird energy between me and your mom. No, never. Okay, or me and your dad. No. Or me and your stepdad. Possibly. <laughs> but with him, it's different because it's like he's just like, yeah. he would just be like that. Okay. You know, so yeah, it just yeah. be what it is. And, it, you know, eventually someone will grow on them. And if not, then it's fine. <laughs> All right, you guys will. So that sounds like there won't be no issues then. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't deal with that. Like, no. I, I know I couldn't. That yeah. would drive me. That would drive me absolutely nuts. Especially if me and the family didn't, like, and like get along. Yeah. That would be a lot for me. I just, I don't feel like I've ever been in a situation like that where I didn't get along with the family. Because then, like, the mom would, like, literally... Try to get me to break up with you, so she would literally be calling me over there more than I need to be. Yeah, and telling me, "Oh, stay over, stay over. Oh, she'll be fine." Yeah. So like that would cause mad friction. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't last. We wouldn't last. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I was just thinking about something about this situation. I'm not even going to say it. I'm really trying to learn how to like keep some things to myself. <laughs> you got to keep some things to yourself. <laughs> I will share everything for not everything. But I will share things because, you know, I I think there's a, it's Girl. a good way to be, like, honest. And you never know, like, what you're sharing could help somebody else. But nah, some facts. shit is just, like, overshare, bruh. <laughs> depends. It, it depends. I mean, for me. Uh, I mean, yeah. Sometimes I overshare. Nah, you got to be careful. Sometimes people come back to hurt you with the overshare. Isn't that crazy? Oh, they'll burn you. I, if somebody... What's wrong with my headphones today? <laughs> I don't know. If somebody did that, that is, like, t- trash on a whole nother oh, level. Oh, I've seen it happen. Go ahead, get, get your chew. See, we got to make Lahai feel as comfortable as possible, guys, because Lahai being here starving herself for no reason. <laughs> she got pickles, Slim Jims, and uh, I think that was a granola bar. It is. Tell her to eat, man. Tell her to, you know, tell her to eat, man, because if I get something down here, your boy eating in front of y'all and everything. It's Would you eat with, with, like, a plate and a fork on facts. camera? Facts. If I need to, if I need to, then that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? We got to eat. I mean, I'm giving you guys good content. I'm... I, Boy, it's a it's a nine to five. It takes energy. Yeah, I need I need all my energy. So I'm that's all I'm saying. Starving. That's all I'm saying, man. But yeah, no, nah, that's a tough situation. Uh, hopefully, you guys can work that out, or yeah, you guys can call it quits. Uh, respectfully, though. Yeah. And uh, go on about your way. Yeah, big facts. That's most important. Okay, so last thing of the things that make you go hmm. Excuse me. I didn't want to burp. Oh, good. Raul, you're I'm learning. Growth. I'm learning. <laughs> okay. So, Raul, I want to know your opinion on this. Yo. So, <laughs> what is your thoughts on maintenance people using your bathroom and your rented space? Now, I'm a... Hey. Hey, yo. <laughs> I came across a video a while ago of a Comcast guy installing Comcast equipment in this guy's house. Raul. <laughs> Blew the bathroom out. <laughs> the guy Boy. came in the house. <laughs> He looked at the calm gas guy and was like, did you sh- <laughs> And Yo. the calm gas guy was like, I'm sorry, man. I had to go. And the guy was like, no, you don't do that in my house. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> so for me, hey, I know that you have a bodily function. That has to happen. Bathrooms are invented for that. Right. I'm going to need you to go in the bathroom and handle that. As long as it don't get too crazy disrespectful in my bathroom. But, like, I, yo, I can't tell you not to shit in my bathroom. If you have to go. You can't tell someone not to poop in your bathroom. They don't if you're, live here. No. <laughs> we don't even know them. Hold on, hold on. It's a hold service. On, it's a stranger. On. All right, so hold on. If I'm a maintenance guy. Wait. And I, my stomach is a little wobbly. You know what I mean? It's, it's, ah, I had some Taco Bell last night. Didn't get, it ain't sitting right with your boy. If I tell you, can I, can I use your bathroom? I'm not telling you. Can I use your bathroom? Oh, Yes. I get in there and go to work. <laughs> then I come back out. What is that? That's a problem? I don't want your butt on my seats. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now. Wait, all right. So what happened with the maintenance guy? The maintenance man came to fix the fan in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's already wild. If this guy took a s*** 
<laughs> what, trying to fix a fan? Bro, I never even said he pooped. Okay, okay. my fault. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so the maintenance man came and fixed the fan in the bathroom. That's wild. <laughs> And we and he had to fix the shower rod. Did he keep the door open? So no. So this is what happened. All right. He comes. He came two days in a row. So the first day he came, Dishes me and G was downstairs because Gianna had the flu. So she's downstairs on the couch and I'm mm. working, and I hear him now. My the way my house is set up, you can hear when people pee. <laughs> Like, it sounds like it's right there. Like, it's, like, right there. Yeah. So you can hear when people pee and stuff. It's, like, so loud. So all of a sudden, he goes upstairs. I just hear my toilet seat go up, and he's peeing, like, <laughs> hellcat pee. Like, it's, like, <laughs> Thought he was going to piss through the floor? Yo. Okay. Gianna was, like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she looked at me crazy because she already knows how I am. Yeah, about, yeah, I don't even yeah. want if even if because like the thing is, it's a house full of women. You yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. just us. Don't piss on the seat. Don't pee in my in my house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to hear to even hear like how pee comes from a man's private area. That sounds crazy, but I'm serious. Yo, like, you were wild. I am like I'm funny about stuff like that because now I feel like you got your <laughs> like you know excuse me you got your private out and my daughter's in the. <laughs> No, I'm serious, bro, because I was pissed. Yo, Lahai. <laughs> the man is pissing in your toilet. That is it. Yo, that is wild. And my daughter's downstairs. I don't appreciate it. Okay. You act like the man was walking in the apartment ass naked. Yo, that's how I feel. Yo. Next thing is just take your clothes off now. No. Get, get out. That's what I... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yo, Lahai. Wait, so that Yo. was day one, right? Okay. And then here goes Giada. Bro, she's sick to, unto death. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even wash his hands, <laughs> mom. He didn't wash. She just, cause she could not get over the fact that he right. didn't wash his hands. Nasty. So he was like, oh, I got to come back tomorrow because the part's 45. I hear him cussing on the phone upstairs. I'm like, what are you? Get out of my house. You in the hood. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Who the heck are you? Okay. So the next day he comes back, right? Yeah. Now this morning I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Prepared. My daughter's in my room, door is locked and shut. Oh, you trying locked. to go to work? Oh, right? you trying to go to war? I'm talking to my plants because I tell you I'm a weird plant mom now. So I'm yo, spraying my I, Yo. <laughs> what? It's therapy. I got a plant upstairs oh, right now. Yes. That I'm trying to bring back to life. Oh. I brought it back to life. It's coming back to life right now. Are you read. talking to it? I don't talk to it yet. Got to. But I spray it, and every morning I play at least like a good 30 minutes to an hour of playing music for it. Oh, I love that. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, live. We on the same journey right Yo. now. Okay, I see you. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'm thing. spraying my plants, opening yeah. up my windows. I'm dressed, right? Because okay. before we were, we were like under blankets and Nike stuff. Nike shoes or? Nah, okay. I have my house slippers on. Okay, all right, cool. So he walks in. And he's like, hey, he looked so crazy. It looked like he walked in with the outfit that he had on all week. Probably. Yo. <laughs> I'm a maintenance man. Right. <laughs> they yeah, only give you like two shirts. Yo, that's two true. Two or three shirts. Yeah. So he's like, okay, hey, got your, your uh, fan and blah, 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 whatever. So he goes upstairs. Gianna, is he here? Um, is he here? Yeah, she's texting me. So um, there's something on there. I don't know if that's okay. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, okay. So, so, he's, so he goes upstairs. I hear him lift my toilet seat up again. Piss him again. <laughs> Yo, I said. So wait, he never asked. He never. That's another thing. Okay. You never asked me. Yeah, you gotta ask. This you is my can't. house. Yeah, this you isn't ask. your house. You gotta ask. Yeah. I hear him. I, I put my water, my spray bottle down, and I go to the bottom of the steps, and I was like, "Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> yo." Yelling, but I'm like I'm angry yeah, yeah, at yeah. this point. And I was like, "Can you stop peeing in my?" F <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, my language. Bro, cut that out. <laughs> I'll bleep it. I was, yeah. I'll bleep it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, "Can you stop peeing in my bathroom?" I got you. Here goes Gia. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Not you." He was like, "Oh, sorry, sorry. I really had to go." <laughs> Two days in a row. <laughs> Bruh. So he comes down the steps and he is like, oh, here's the thing, too. He's in there now. He's in there for 45 minutes. I never heard him flush the toilet. <laughs> you left your pee in my toilet 
<laughs> didn't for flush 45 it. minutes. That's disgusting. No, nah, that's that's why I think you're making it a little bit more bigger than what it needs to be. Bro, but... this is but this is what ha- I'm big on disrespect. That's no, that you gotta ask. If you're a Yo. maintenance man, you gotta ask. Man, yeah, man, use your bathroom while I'm in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta tell me what you want to do, but it's my it's my decision if I let you use it or not. Facts. So he comes downstairs and I said, um, because he was like, Oh, I um I said, first of all, I'm gonna need you to flush my toilet. He Damn was like, right. Oh, I was gonna tell you, I'm going to, I just have to go out to the car and get some. Why wouldn't you been flush it? <laughs> but anyway, <'Cause> and <laughs> I swear I heard him call me the B-word upstairs <laughs> under his breath. So that <laughs> So at that point I'm pissed. He got the B word off on the breath? Yo, I swear he <laughs> How'd did. you hear that lie? Cuz I my I, my ears. I'm a mom. I can hear anything. <laughs> you just so, heard the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bing. Bing. So I'm like, "What?" So I'm like, so then I was like, and he was like, I'm sorry, I really had to go to the back. I said, I don't care. I said, my daughter has the flu. I said, yeah. everything in this house is cleaned down and sanitized down. Yeah. I cannot have somebody from outside mm. coming in here using my bathroom. To, sorry, ma'am, I'm sorry. I just, uh, you know, I just kept going. Yeah. So then he flushed the toilet. Bruh, this definitely is. Mom. Yeah, no, I don't play with stuff like that. So this is the worst part. That was all terrible. Right. That was but bad. This is the worst part of all. Lay it on me. Bruh. I go up. Gianna, stay in the room. <laughs> Intruder in the house. You stay, <laughs> you stay in the room. Stay in the room. So he leaves, right? Yeah. He f- came back inside and flushed and, and finished what he had to do and right, left. Right, right. I have my 409 in one hand and I have my um, disinfectant wipes in the other because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know what it's going to look like when I go in here. And right. I had this air freshener spray tucked under my arm. Because it was a little funk in the vicinity. Okay. I walk upstairs. Boy. Ass. It smells so bad in there. Now you know I got a weak stomach, right? So I'm going to walk in there and I was like... (laughs) So I had to take the wipes and put them under my nose. So I couldn't couldn't smell anything. Look at the toilet seat. Ass. (laughs) Breath. What the hell happened in here? He was, he was battling some demons up there, boy. He was so he did shit in your house. I had to re- I think it was his butt. I think his butt. <laughs> Bro, first of all, that means you peed sitting down. He tried to limit the sound so you couldn't hear. He tried to muffle the piss. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, when you know you stand up, the the uh. <laughs> uh, just to break it down a little bit, uh, the pee hitting the porcelain walls, hitting the water, as you can hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I sit down, it's going to be muffled. You ain't going to really still tell. You hear it. It was loud. <laughs> you and our there. fan didn't work, so it's silent in there. My house is very quiet. It's silent in there. All you hear was piss. Uh, yo. Bro, I had to go to work in there. It was brown, brown ass on. Brown butt stains. But you know, he was probably sweating. That's probably where that came from. This is my house. <laughs> Sweat at your own. <laughs> Sweat at your own house. Oh, that was that's funny. Right oh up. yeah, nah. That's, that's, did you write a complaint? No, I didn't. You should Cause complain because I, I checked him. But <laughs> no, nah, yeah. you got to complain. Yeah. Yo, I will. there was mad dirt on my toilet. Yeah, and it's crazy because it did kind of slip my mind anyway. Because that, like that whole, like I said, that whole week she was sick. Yeah. So I am going to say something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's different. Yo, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, hey, man, I wouldn't probably, uh, it probably wouldn't have bothered me too much. Uh, but the only part that probably would have bothered me is you, if you didn't ask to use my bathroom. Yeah, you just do it. Yeah, you it. just going, you ain't going to ask? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to let you do it. You got to poop or whatever. Do what you got to do. But, like, right. ask me. That's all. I might have had something in the bathroom I didn't want you to see. Right. So, I mean, you know. But I think you, you might, I think you, might have took it. I don't know if it's too far, but <laughs> you're like using the war zone. Oh, Yo, oh. I'm real. Look, I hate the bathroom. Anybody that knows me for real knows I hate the bathroom. I hate the, I hate the toilet. Hate the toilet. To- like anything going down it, and it's like I hate it. So mm. this is my house. The only people stuff I'm used to being in that bathroom is me and G's. Right. 
I have a strange man in here, and now you gonna put your germs, your germs in the bathroom? all over my bathroom? Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, it fixed my shower rod. Yeah, when I wash your hands. You wiped that shower rod? I wiped everything down. The whole bathroom. Oh, man. I had to. My kid is sick. And have Gianna sitting on that dirty (laughs) toilet? Yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. Just the thought about it makes me angry. Oh, my God. Man ass on that toilet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm nothing. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was fun. (laughs) I'm nothing. (laughs) That's fun. It's so gross. (laughs) Yeah, wow. I'm sorry that you've been traumatized. Maintenance men. There are some good maintenance men out there, though. Yeah, every other one has always been pretty good. Yeah, maybe he was just sloppy. Inside and out. Two days two days with the piss is different, though. Yo. Should have asked him his water intake. He, I really have to go. Go before you get here. <laughs> I, I, I'm coming here. Yeah, like... <laughs> Yo, it really didn't hit me to... So I got to hold it the whole time I'm in your apartment fixing your stuff? Now I'll be like, no one can use it. Oh, man. I'm going to go right outside find a tree. You're a man. Pee outside. That was a little problematic. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Why? You're telling men just to pee outside? You can pee outside. I mean, we're going to pee outside regardless, but... But I'm saying, you're a man. You can pee outside. You're not peeing in my crib. I don't even know you. That's like getting a bum off the street and be like, you want to come in my house and pee in here? That would be nice of you to do, but... Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Left dirty ass stains behind. That's crazy. It was terrible, Ralph. I was traumatized. Nah, I feel you. I, I... I feel you. Just ask me. That's all I care about. Yeah. I mean, anything else is fixable. But if you don't ask me, you can't use my bathroom. Yeah. We're not, start, we're not starting off on a good foot. Yeah. I just saw something that just blew my mind. I Made my head bust. Couldn't like, believe this guy. <laughs> I'm like, is this happening for real? Like, this is crazy. Wow. Hey, guys. Uh, this has been another episode of What This Is It. Uh, again, if you listen on Apple Podcasts, all I'm asking you to do is to leave a review. Uh, puts us in front of rate and leave a review. It puts us in front of audiences that we haven't been put in front of before, and it helps our podcast move up on the charts. So that way, we can be put in new aud- in front of new audiences. So rate and review. Even if you can't leave a review, just rate. Uh, that'll be awesome. That's on Apple Podcasts only. I'm not familiar with Spotify, Spotify like that, so I don't know if they have a system or anything like that. Uh, YouTube. Uh, subscribe like you guys have been doing. You guys have been doing a great job, job at that. We appreciate that. Uh, keep subscribing. Uh, leave comments on the videos because that also bumps our videos up and we get to be put in front of audiences uh, that we've never been put in front of before. Um, every now and again, I post like little questions on our, our page if you guys could answer those questions. Yes. I don't even care if you give me the dumbest answer in the world, but answer those questions because, again, that puts us in front of new audiences that we've never been in front of before. That's all we're asking for, yes. man. Uh Give me the comment that you were going to waste on something else that day, man. Just just give it to us. We'll take it, man. <laughs> and uh, anything you want to say to the people? No, but that was good, real. I'm trying, man. Yeah, that was good. I'm trying. Um, all right, without further ado, then we're going to highlight y'all boys and girls. <laughs> boys. <laughs> <laughs> um.